What's up guys and gals? We are back today at the Nerd Castle playing Kanak Kanak. Which sounds something like you might vaguely say in Klingon when you stub your toe. But here we are, back with our crazy-eyed, crazy-haired fellow. Everything is locked. Thank goodness. Nothing can creep in here before morning. My home is my fortress. Now I believe, I don't remember necessarily, it looks like time is not running. So let's be on our way here. Let's unlock the door really quickly. And I don't know why, but whenever he goes into that pose right there where he's like unlocking the door, it reminds me of like a South Park character like Randy Marsh or something. I have no idea. Let's pop this light on. Oh, and there's something hidden in here. Let's see, the house is actually looking fairly small right now. Got some scribbles all over the walls. As always, we're in these Gene Simmons suite. I've made that joke already, so we're not going to address it. We're just going to move forward. Sometimes we recycle. You know, we're eco-friendly here. At least towards jokes at the Nerd Castle. Wait, is that blood on the... Oh, hell no. Alright, well... The flickering light never makes me feel good either. I'm going to turn that off. Oh, there's something hidden in here as well. Okay, so we've got a room filled with craziness. And also like a dissection chart of our own mind. That is clearly my face on that chart right there. Let's go upstairs first, maybe? I'm going to try and keep myself lined up with the stairs so I can bail out if I need to. Anything over here? Nothing in this corner either. The clock is steadily ticking upwards. I really hope the light doesn't go out. If it goes out behind me, I'm going to be extremely upset. The wood room. I'd love to find the clock that's going to kickstart everything back to where it needs to be. I'm always a little bit concerned when I'm this far away from the ladder because if an enemy decides to come from the right, there's like nowhere for me to escape to, which is always very, very terrifying. Where is the diary? Could be hiding here somewhere? Hey, where are you? Now that we've got a hiding spot, I feel a little better. Oh good, it flashed the room we're just about to go into. As if I didn't feel apprehensive about this enough already. Well, let's find out, guys. Nope. Absolutely not. Eyeball, I want nothing to do with you. Be on your way, sir. And so, as always, we lose a little bit of time when we get rid of the eyeball. But I've seen no situation in which using the eyeball or going down that eyeball path, we can't reconcile it. Aha! I know this place. A neat little hiding place. The secret childhood stash. Right over there is where someone used to hide his little secrets. Don't lie, it was the porno mags, wasn't it? Oh, I can hide behind there too. Cool. Let's turn the light back on. It's odd the door locked already, even though I just came from this way. Either we have horribly constructed doors, like these doorknobs are just busted as hell. Or there's some kind of weird, well, I guess we know there's some kind of weird supernatural stuff going on. God, it made me jump. Turn the light back on. Get this door open and hope that nothing comes in from this front side here. No, 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 no. Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. I really hope it didn't see me hide here. <laughs> Don't see me. Why try to get away? It doesn't matter if I can be seen as long as I myself don't look at anything. No, 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 hey, you, no. Crazy lady, get away from me. I hear you. I don't love you. I don't love you at all. Go away. Go downstairs. That's how I deal with my problems. I go downstairs. Oh, it looks like there's something in here. Let's discover it. It's kind of crazy that, like, I don't really understand... I mean, I'm not an analytic mind, so... Or an analytical mind, but still... It's weird that we wouldn't notice that there's, like, windows in this room. 
for example. Let's go back up. Did she go away yet? Why try to get away? Okay, so we've disarmed that room now, and then there's our first clock. Let's go ahead and use it. And maybe we'll make it till morning. It's weird, because like, to this day, I still can't really tell you like the point of this game. But it's weird how you get like a sixth sense or like a knack for what you're supposed to be doing and how the game works. Even though nobody ever explains the mechanics to you, like eventually you figure it all out just by rule of thumb almost. Almost by feel. It's very strange. The game gives the impression of kind of feeling around a dark room with your eyes closed. Where like you could open your eyes and partially see like the outlines and the silhouettes of everything in the room. Or you could just kind of remove the handicap of sight and just kind of feel your way around. And I don't know if that's like... It's a weird explanation, I'll admit. But it's the only way that I really know how to describe it. Looks like there's something else in here hidden now. Okay, so that door closed behind us. Let's go downstairs. And I've never liked this room layout. But we're gonna have to deal with it. These little brick-covered rooms are terrifying. Ooh, let's flip that switch. It's morning time. That should be enough to get us there. Come on now, little sliver. We can do it. Everybody hold your breath with me. <gasps> Wait a minute. I am close. Oh, what in the hell is that? Nope. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. God. All right, we made it. You can you can release your breath now, I promise. I don't want there to be like a rash of people blacking out and losing brain cells on my part. I want people to grow their brain cells, not lose them. Everything's alive. This is a game to be played in silence. Two hours before sunrise, gather the guests. Everybody chooses a human for themselves. After that, the guests should move silently through the house. All the guests are focused on their own business. Sooner or later, you'll hear a voice. Here, birdies, gather around and marble nest. Oh, gather around the marble nest. Then everyone should freeze in place. If the rustling continues, that means the game is over, and you should stop immediately. The invisible one is among you. Well, I hope we don't run into this invisible one. He sounds kind of scary. Look at that, we're getting there, guys. We're moving our way towards the end. I think this game's going to be short and sweet. Thus far, I really like it. I've been looking through a lot of the reviews, and it seems like a lot of people didn't like it, but it's grabbed me. Okay, so we're back to our lantern now. There's an interesting distinction to be made. It's going to be all the way upstairs for the first clock. Alright, well let's be on our way. There's an interesting distinction to be made. Nature is a machine. Nature is larger than man. Everything about it is logical. Everything can be explained. Her laws are simple, eternal, and true. And the most reliable of her laws is time. Cycles, decay, irreversible, ever-repeating. Nothing but time brings order to the world, as it always has. His ramblings, I mean, there's a certain psychotic nature to the ramblings of everything he says, and I don't know if that's because you don't understand, like, the game world, or if it's actually because he's crazy and the things that he's seeing. Now, I'm trying to figure out, like, the symbolism behind the lantern and the candle. I'm sure there's something there, because the two games function differently. When you're holding a candle, we've got a knocking sound coming, and I'll stop yammering for a moment. On the areas where you have a lantern, the clock is actually stopped. If you have the candle, then time flows fluidly as you're playing. You need to tidy up the house. Time to welcome the guests. There are fewer and fewer blank pages left. And we all know what it said would happen once we get to the last page. Kind of haunting. It looks like the ladder we need is in this room. Maybe in this one? I'm just gonna try and get there because the clock rooms don't tend to be that terrifying. Let's flip this bad boy over. There's a second bed right there. And it's good to come to the end of your road with the heart at peace. It would be most grievous to meet one's fate without having wrapped things up. This is the only time a second bed has showed up. As I recall. Oh good, the door is back open again. Well, I guess we'll make our way down and over there and hopefully not get ourselves consumed or wrapped by the enemies at hand. The cruel beings that hang out here in the darkness. Fewer and fewer days left. God. 
This is all starting to paint kind of a grim portrait, if I'm honest. Was where I needed to go over here? No, it's downstairs. Alright, well, let's be on our less than merry way. This forest is at the end of its life. It used to be a rich biotope, but now it's dying. I couldn't find any healthy new growth. The land has grown soggy too. All the large species of animals have died out. All that's left are the numerous species of insects. Great. Judging by the stuff on the wall, it looks like we have lizards though. And giant crab-like spiders. Although I'm not so fond of those. Let's go check upstairs really quickly. I don't see any reason not to. Anyways, I mean, I guess it's increasing the chance that I'll get omnommed by something terrible, but we can try it. This looks like a dismal place, but I feel at peace here. Ordinary forest topsoil, clay, sand, leaves, and compost. A normal forest, the way that it should be. Let's go outside and see what there is to be seen. So once again, we kind of have to wonder if we're looking for the little girl out here in the forest, or if we're trying to make our way back to the house. It seems like when it puts us outside, those are the two distinguishing factors. Whether you're either supposed to just go back inside the house, or whether you're supposed to look for this individual. Which is the positive choice, I'm still not sure. Positive or negative, same side of a coin, or I'm sorry, the opposite sides of a coin in this game, in many cases. Well, there's something out there. He said he hasn't seen any species, but something's making that noise. I'm going to wander around just a little bit in between these terrifyingly lynchian trees. And if we don't see anything, I'll come back to the house. Oh, that's crazy. If you look up at the top of the screen, look at the edge of the trees right there. The gaps in, betwe in between the trees, they make eyes. I just noticed that. That's a wild little detail that I wonder if many people have caught on to. The gaps in between the leaves up there, if you look the background but anyways let's go in the house and see if that's the correct option if it allows us to spin back around and sends us to the beginning of the level we'll know that we've made the wrong choice oh we made the right choice so it's on to the next level all right no cinematic I have nightmares constantly. The same dream haunts me every night. A dream where I lose something or someone. Every time I forget the dream the moment I wake up. Thank God. It's weird how dreams are like that. I've never actually scientifically looked into the reason why you don't remember your dreams. But there's got to be like some neurological reason why we never remember that sort of stuff. But then every now and again, at least in my own personal case, you get one that's like particularly horrifying. And those ones seem to stick for years. have a look around this room. We've got the candle again, which means that things are going to be hidden from us, which means we need to go around the house and find the rooms where he closes his eyes and seems to be contemplating something so that we can find the clock and kind of move things along. These are also the levels where you want to avoid the enemy because the clock is constantly running, so it's about draining down the shot clock in this case. Let's turn the clock over. And he had his eyes closed until I activated the clock, and so now it seems like there's nothing else to discover here. Ah, there it is. It came back. Guests like those only come in the dark because the shadows eat through the walls of your home. That's impolite. They should probably eat better. I don't think stucco is going to be relevant to a very good diet. Let's go upstairs and have a look around. Well, then again, I'm assuming the house is made out of stucco. Maybe if the shadows are made of termites, this house seems kind of wooden. Plus, we've got a whole room that's just coated with the stuff. He thinks that he's tearing up the diary in his sleep. He feels that while he sleeps, he's eating up his own life. It's an interesting point to make. Footprints and dirt. Still a bit fresh. This is recent. What is that? Did I really walk through the forest in my sleep? Well, there's some news. So it appears as though when we have the lantern, we're sleeping. The interesting thing that they bring to the forefront here is that what if we were tearing up the diary in our sleep? That's kind of a horrifying thing to think about, considering we may die at the end of its, you know, at the end of its pages. 
This room appears to have something hidden from us as well. Let's wait for it and see what we can find. I am going to try and... Oh, another clock. Let's activate it. And I'm actually going to kind of look around the house a little bit further. Oh, they're here. Let's get upstairs. And hope that they're not in here to bother us. The clock just slowed down again. A room with another clock. In here. Are you running a fever? I don't know. Oh god. This room is being kind of hostile again. I'm going to activate the clock. It asked if we were running a fever, which is weird. I wonder if there's anything through here. See if we can get this light fiddled back in. Okay, so it, I think it knows where we are. And the only way to reasonably escape is by hiding or getting up a ladder. And so if the ladder's our only option, I'm going to make a sprint for that. This is the wrong house. Oh god, you see those handprints appear on the walls? <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? I just lost a ton of time and I'm not sure why. I guess the hands on the walls might be hostile? Yeah, they're gone. There's another clock so we can recoup our losses really quickly. And I guess that was it warning us to go the right direction, so let's go downstairs. Yeah, we'll do what it tells us for now because it seems to have kind of a domineering attitude towards us. I don't want to piss it off too much. Some of these things that are coming after us are terrifying. The concoctions that the house is coming up with are getting more and more vicious and a bit more startling as time goes along. I forget where it told me to go. Was it this room? Or maybe it was down below one more floor. get the light on and have a look. Some kind of room for, I don't know, some kind of testing. I mean, there's a bathtub that's clearly dripping with blood. A large machine that I have no idea what that thing does. Looks like something they hook you into in the Matrix, so to suck out all your lovely fluids. I mean, I think my fluids are lovely. Other people might not think my fluids are lovely, but I do my best. You leave my fluids alone. Let's have a look. The light just went out, so we need to move. I don't know where we should be going, but God, I'm like stammering. A few more bits of testing equipment. There's lots of stuff to hide behind. And at this point, all we really need to do is kind of run out the clock. There it is. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, another morning, another sunrise up. Every single time, it's just, let's see here, welcome the guests. Set the table, put plates and cuts, cups on it. In the center, a simple round loaf of bread. You can cover the cups with pieces of paper or dead maple leaves. Don't turn off the light, but do close your eyes. Imagine the faces of people that appear at the table, one after the other. These are your guests. I thought that said, imagine the feces of the people that appear at your table. I'm like, why would they have that with them? That is not the proper thing to bring to a dinner. <laughs> These things do not belong at a civilized table. Alright, so the clock has stopped once again. Looks like it's sending up a, us up to the highest reaches of our houses. That room looked like it was filled with, like, the masks off of... It was just another dream. And now I'm back. How do you know that, though? Like, the clock has stopped. That doesn't normally happen. 
when you're awake, like clock stopping? I don't know. I think he may have being awake and being asleep mixed up. As I was saying, those masks up there look like the things, like the masks off the faces of Boo Buddies, or like those things in the forest in, ooh, what was it, Spirited Away? They do that little noise. I don't know. I think I've got the right anime peg. It may have been, I don't think it was Princess Mona. I'm pretty sure it was Spirited Away. Or no, in Spirit Away, that's the mask off the thing that does those eh noises. Maybe it was Mononoke. I can't remember. It's been years. Let's go all the way up there and hopefully avoid anything that's going to eat us. I take samples of the air every day. The beauty is the same. Composition too. Nitrogen and oxygen. The land hasn't changed much in eons. Everything's the same as it was for my ancestors. It's just that the land's richness is in decline. Taking note of it day after day is my job. I'm not going to turn on any lights that I don't need to. Because supposedly it knows where we are based on what we light up. I hear the sounds of foes in the darkness once again, those knocks. That was a little bit more threatening than the noises anything else has made. That actually had kind of a lycanthrope sound to it. Like an actual hunter sound. Let's kickstart the night. Sounds like an old metal album. Kickstart the night. My grandfather felt that his time was near. He became quite focused. He didn't want to die with something with on it. He didn't want to die with anything on his conscience. There was something he hadn't finished, still hadn't understood. I don't know if he ever managed in the end. I was still very young then. Alright, let's get back down to the forest. <laughs> Kickstart the night. The leading single by Chrome Lotus. Alright. Definitely the name of a metal album. Am I on the right floor? No, I gotta go down one more. God. They really need to stop making noises like that. It's okay, lick. <laughs> it's the licorice tusk. It's okay, peppermint tusk. You can protect me. I believe in you, peppermint tusk. Well, there's no house this time, so maybe we're looking for the little girl again. I'm just gonna kind of go off to the side for a few minutes, see if we can see her in the background. And if we don't, we'll start jumping in between layers. Oh no, there's our house. Well, maybe we're supposed to go back inside again. So far, I think going back inside is like batting a 1,000 for what we're supposed to be doing, so I'm really tempted to do it. I still... We'll look around just a tad off in each direction, just to make sure that we're not missing out on any Easter eggs or any little storyline segments, but for now... I'm not seeing anything in the background, so let's just head back to the house. I don't know why, but even though there's stuff in there trying to eat me, I feel better in an enclosed space than I do wandering around the forest at night. Correct decision? It was indeed. We're moving towards a rather sinister looking critter up in the top though. It's not making me feel very comfortable. So now I don't know if we're to assume we're back in our dream state, but let's see if we can be on our way and possibly finish this off before our time runs out. A child? Has there been a child here? I can't remember. No. I'm always forgetting things. Now that I've got the safety of a ladder behind me, I'm gonna try and turn the light on and see if there's anything to be found here. And indeed there is. Hopefully a clock. Anything to give us a little bit of an advantage and keep from resetting the level. Oh, never mind, we're back in the telescope room. Well, this room's got a ladder situated as well, so we'll take refuge right here for a moment while the clock runs out. Looks like we've got things to discover here, too. Ah, the first clock. There does seem to be some benefit in keeping moving non-stop. Some kind of weird 
I have no idea what that even is. Like some kind of jukebox, like fart producing jukebox, I don't know. It's got tons of pipes and things sticking out of it, so it's got to produce some kind of gas or warmth or something. It's Acme's new trademarked <laughs> fart producing jukebox. Your infinite energy source, producing methane all day long. I guess I'll turn this light on, although I don't like being in the room with the... I don't like that at all, being in a room with Iron Maidens. I prefer for other people to be in the rooms with the Iron Maidens. I want to be outside the room with the Iron Maidens. Unless the rooms outside the Iron Maidens are on fire. And in that case, I guess, either or. Just pick one. Oh good, it's behind me. Well, let's start the clock and make a run for it. I don't know if in this case it's actually flagging... Nope, flickering light. Let's get on up out of here. The door's now banging too, which is a very impolite thing to do when you've got company over. No, not round. These aren't my words. These aren't my thoughts. This has nothing to do with sleepwalking. Whatever it is, it's fresh and it's blood. Someone else is inside my home. Well then it's time to break out the firearm, get the old Beretta. To see you. Suppose I'll try and get the light on here. Anytime I've got the safety of that ladder. Oh god. Just got ran into by a grumbleweed and then teleported. I'm gonna go upstairs because I don't like that room at all. It makes me feel very, very stupefied. <laughs> of course, something just chewed on us in the darkness that I can't see. Alright, we're well, our clock just got cleaned of all of its excess time. Why try to get away? Well, because it's in my nature. I'm like the scorpion. It's in my nature. Okay, so a freebie clock right there. We'll activate that and let's be on our way really quickly. I'm home. Oh god. I can't tell if that's trying to like run me down. Finally, I'm home. Well, that's Can unnerving. You hear me coming? Run, fool! No! <laughs> All right. Well, we're just about out of time, anyways. So, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. We will pick this up in our next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and farewell.